Hey guys, welcome back to my nail Pura. My name is Monica. So in today's video, we're going to be making my Ayurveda hair oil. This oil is amazing for hair growth. So if you're interested, let's formulate. Right. To make our Ayurveda oil, here is the equipment that you will need. A pan with water to heat up our ingredients using the double boiler method. We will need some gloves and then a bowl to place all our ingredients in. Even though I didn't show it, we need a tablespoon to measure out our wet ingredients and we will need a teaspoon to measure out our dry ingredients. So if you're ready, let's get started. To our bowl, add in two teaspoons of amla powder. Amla powder conditions the scalp, promotes hair growth, minimizes gray hairs, and reduces dandruff. Add two teaspoons of aloe vera powder. Aloe vera powder conditions the hair, nourishes new growth, soothe and calm irritated scalp, and stimulate hair growth. This is one of my favorite ingredients. Now add two teaspoons of bring rush powder to the mix. Bring rush powder is said to promote hair growth, strengthen hair, and prevent grain and dandruff. Our next powder is ashwagandha powder. So add two teaspoons of that. Ashwagandha powder stimulates the production of melanin and restrains the loss of melanin in the hair. It increases scalp circulation. Add two teaspoons of fenugreek powder. Fenugreek powder is a great detangler. It helps with dandruff and it restores shine to your hair. Add two teaspoons of your Brahmi powder to the mix. Brahmi powder promotes hair growth, it strengthens the hair and repairs damaged hair follicles. Now add one teaspoon of ginger powder, not two, one teaspoon of ginger powder. Ginger powder increases scalp circulation and encourages hair growth. So this is the last of our powdered ingredients. So the next ingredient we're going to be adding is our flowers. I will leave the benefits of all the other ingredients in the description box below. Add one teaspoon of calendula flour. One teaspoon of lavender flower buds. One tablespoon of hibiscus flour. Now it's time for us to add our teas. Add two tea bags of peppermint tea. Add two tea bags of green tea. And two tea bags of moringa tea. So now that is the end of our dry ingredients. So now it's time to add our oils. My advice is to add your oils from the thickest to the lightest and I'll be using a tablespoon to measure out all our oil ingredients. Add five tablespoons of castor oil. Add 
add 10 tablespoons of sweet almond oil. Although you see me in the clip only adding 5, I actually added 10 tablespoons of sweet almond oil and also did the same for olive oil. So add 10 tablespoons of olive oil to the mix. And make sure you are using extra virgin olive oil. Now it's time to add the last of our oil ingredients. So we're going to be adding 300 grams of coconut oil. Once you've added your coconut oil, now give it a good mix until all the ingredients is combined. Once your ingredients is combined, then transfer to the stove. Because we're using the double boiler method, leave it on the stove for about 4 hours. And what I do is I come back to stir it every 30 minutes. Once your 4 hours is up, leave to settle for um, about an hour and then add your essential oils before it cools down. Give it another good mix and leave for 4 hours to allow for the powders to settle to the bottom. Once that is done, now it's time to strain out your oil. This process takes time and patience. so. Be prepared to wait. If you've gotten to this point in this video and you're not subscribed, make sure you hit the subscribe button below and press the notification bell so that you'll be notified when I upload my next video. Once all your oils have strained through, Leave to set for about an hour for transferring into your bottle. That's it guys, um, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Um, following us on our Instagram, I'll leave the details in the description box below. And you can also buy this oil from our website, monelpura.com. Until then, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.